Hey, I'm Casey Ferris. I make videos on DaVinci Resolve here on YouTube. Today, we're not doing that. What? We're doing a video on Premiere. Huh? One of the major reasons why I love Resolve is its ability to do color. That's obviously probably Resolve's strongest strength. And Premiere has the Lumetri color panel, but it's just not the same, man. It's just not the same. Well, I wanna show you a really cool program our friends over at Color Grading Central have made called Cinema Grade. If you guys haven't checked this out, your mind is gonna be blown. All right, so here we are in Premiere. And we have a little edit here. This cute little kid doing his uh, painting thing. It's pretty nice. Let's say we want to do some color. Well, normally in Premiere, what you'd have to do is go to the color layout and you can kind of go through and use Lumetri Color. And honestly, I like Lumetri Color. I think it works pretty well. However, you know, you guys know I'm a Resolve nerd, so I'm not completely happy because of, you know, the lack of total awesomeness. But here is probably the closest thing that I've found to Resolve inside of Premiere. And it also has some really cool controls. So check this out. I'm gonna go to my effects and I'm gonna grab Cinema Grade. Cinema Grade is a really cool plugin for Mac that kind of takes a different approach on color correction. And I love this thing. I'll grab it and just drag it onto my clips here. And now I've just applied that effect to all of my clips in the timeline. So I can just grab any clip and go up here to my effect controls and open controls. We have this huge image here for our interface. And it's interesting because you look around and you're like, well, where are my tools? Where's my interface? Like you, you think it'd be down here, but these are just the shots, right? The cool thing is that you do color grading in cinema grade just on the image, right? So if I want to make this a little bit brighter, I just hit E on the keyboard and that switches to exposure adjustment and I can click and drag up or down to change the exposure. If I want to adjust saturation, that's S, click and drag up or down. You don't have to look at any other type of color controls. You're just looking at your image the whole time. You can even do really cool stuff like if I hit V, these are like the hue curves sort of. And so let's say I want to change the color of this cup. I can grab a point right there and then just click and drag and change the color of the cup. Isn't that nuts? Let's say I want to just boost the midtones. I can hit Shift E and that splits up the highlights, midtones, and shadows. And I can grab like a darker part that I want a little bit lighter. I can start to boost that up. If there's a part I want darker, I can click that and bring that down. And it automatically kind of splits those up so that I can get my contrast exactly the way I want. And so you have a lot of control over specific parts of the image and you never have to look at your color wheels or your curves or anything like that. You just pick things that you like or don't like about the image and then change them kind of intuitively. And that's how color should be, man. Let's say we want to warm this up. I can hit W and I can just drag up or down and up is warmer and down is colder. So I'm just focusing on my image the whole time. Now, here's a couple other cool things. Even though I've opened up the controls for just one clip, I can hit up or down on the keyboard to move in between my shots, just like in Resolve, right? And so I can really quickly kind of dial in all of these clips and, you know, make them brighter, darker, whatever I need and kind of get a really good sense of my whole movie, right? I can page through just super quick. If I want to see all my shots, I can click down here and I can kind of compare them to each other really easily. This is like exactly what we need for color. You know what I mean? This isn't saturated enough. Let's boost it a little bit. This shot's too cold. Let's warm it up. Oh, doesn't have enough contrast. I'll hit C and push that up a little bit. Ooh, I don't like the mid-tone. Shift E. I'll grab a mid-tone, kind of drag that down, make it a little bit more rich. Oh, now the shadows are too dark. I'll just grab the shadows and bring those back up. It's just so cool. You can even match shots. There's a shot matching ability here. It brings up all of your shots and you can color code them, right? So like, let's say we love this shot. This is our hero shot. And we just select whichever shots we want to match to it just by color. So those all need to match together, right? I mean, they all do, but these specifically have tones that we want to match. Let's say we want to group another group of shots. Like, which one do we like the best? Um, probably this one. And then we want to match these two shots to it, right? Now that we have this set up, we can click on this little button in the upper right that says match shots. And now we can compare these back and forth and see which ones we want. Okay, this one is maybe a little bit too warm. So I'll hit W and bring it down just a touch. And I can hit up and down to go in between my other shots. So maybe this one needs to be a little brighter. Maybe it's too saturated. Hit S, bring it down. It's just super easy to get some really nice looks there. And if we want to adjust the different groups, 
So this is the green group. I can go over and click my other color groups here. So this is our hero shot. This is the one we want to match everything to. And we can really quickly kind of dial this in. Make his face a little brighter. Give it a little more saturation. These two match pretty much the same because they're the same shot, so we're doing great. So this is super cool, and obviously if you had like a, a Wacom tablet or something where you can use a pen directly on the screen, this is just super, super fun. So in the upper right hand corner, I'll just hit apply, and it asks if I want to apply it for everything or just this grade. I'll say all grades because I did my whole project. And now that that's applied, I can just close cinema grade, and all of my grades come over in my timeline. If I want to preview what it's doing, I can click on and off the effects for cinema grade. Pretty freaking awesome, right? And here's the thing, I love this, but as you guys know, I'm on PC all the time. I've never used a Mac, man. I'm like on my old Mac laptop, like trying to figure out <laughs> how to use a Mac again. But here's the cool thing. They're doing a Kickstarter for Windows version. And you can pledge right now and get your copy of this thing for Windows. So make sure to go and back the project on Kickstarter. And if you are on a Mac, this already works perfectly and it's already a thing. If you use Premiere, I would not color grade without Cinema Grade on Premiere. They also have plugins for Final Cut Pro as well as Resolve. The Resolve version isn't quite as robust, but it's kind of okay because Resolve does a lot of color anyway. But man, if you are on Premiere or Final Cut Pro, this is a no brainer. And I'll put a fancy link in the description or you can click right here. And if you get it with this link, I get just a little bitty kickback, which, you know, if you love my videos, that'd be pretty nice of you. If you're gonna get it anyway, use this link. So if you're on Mac, get it right now with this link. If you're on Windows, back the Kickstarter down in the description. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. I'm sorry, I'm excited. I, I've been waiting for a Windows version for a long time and I'm just freaking psyched that it's happening. So I had to make a video about it.